In this video, one will learn some brainstorming applications that are useful for Chromebooks. The first one is AutoDraw. As you see, it looks like a whiteboard. And what you can do is for AutoDraw, you can choose the AutoDraw at the top, and you can go ahead and draw something and see if it will come up with what you're drawing. Trying to draw. a bicycle, and as you see, they have one here and the second one. If I click on that, they'll be able to give me a bicycle. Try to keep your drawing off so you don't have to worry about that, but you'll go ahead and you'll be able to keep the bicycle, and then you can add to it. It can be paired with other applications to help make images for brainstorming or showing understanding, or for students who cannot draw well but need to make diagrams and other posters. The next application is LucidChart. LucidChart is an online web-based program. To sign up, you go to your Google sign-in. With LucidChart, you can create simple flowcharts, complex technical diagrams, and everything in between to communicate with clarity. Also, you can work with your team on any device across the platforms you already use with LucidChart. They have a lot of getting started tips and great video tutorials to explain how to use LucidChart. It's very much like Simple Mind in iPad. The next one is an app. It's called ClaraSketch, and it is actually in the Chrome Web Store. Once on your Chromebook, it can take a photo with your camera, you can mark it up and add audio, and then you can share it with others. This would be very similar to the PDF scan document feature on iPads, where you can mark up the text rather quickly. The next one is Note Anywhere. Note Anywhere is in the Chrome Web Store and can be added to Chrome. Once added, you'll see a little notepad that's up here, a post-it note that will say Note Anywhere. Then you can go to an actual website and you'll be able to add a note right on any sort of website that you want to. Once you visit that site, you can see the note again. This would be great for students to remember where they got information and can also save time looking up the same information over and over again without realizing that it's the same site. In the next video, you'll find out about formative assessment applications.